power of human inspiration has created a world of explosive new ideas and new possibilities. Opportunities that can transform the human experience. But identifying these opportunities requires seeing not only what is, but what can be. The insight to imagine the potential. This ability, the power to sense and support brilliance, is exemplified by the man who saw the significance of Thomas Edison's world-changing discoveries. Financier Spencer Trask was truly first to see the light. He funded and ran the world's first electric power company, financed the premier periodical of our time, and served as a founding trustee of what has become the most profitable and valuable company in history. This is the legacy of Spencer Trask and Company today. Identifying and supporting tomorrow's heroes. Unleashing the power of its self-reinforcing network. The fusion of entrepreneurs, innovative technologies, and the wealth of experience from people who have built their fortunes by building successful companies. It's the opportunity to help create the future that gets us so excited uh, at Spencer Trask. I learned this working with Dr. Jonas Salk when we were developing his AIDS vaccine at a company called the Immune Response Corporation. What Dr. Salk hoped to reveal was that people infected with HIV could be inoculated in much the same way as by his polio vaccine. It was the mid-80s and Dr. Salk felt that he could solve the problem. It was just a matter of time, a matter of strategy. It was uh, at this time that I began to become aware of uh, the fact that I tended to see things differently from the way other people did. And I tended to do things differently. You know, I promised Jonas that I would raise $100 million for this startup of ours, and uh, you know, I had no idea how to do that, so I went to every wealthy person I knew, and every person that I knew who knew wealthy people. And uh, that's how we built the shareholder base. And many of the shareholders and many of the other folks that we got involved uh, gave us a lot more than just the capital. And that's uh, when the light bulb went off for me that the, this was really the ideal way to, to build a corporation. At the early stage, when you have a big idea, you want to try to access uh, people that have insight, wisdom, experience that they can bring in along with their capital. Immune Response Corporation attracted more than $250 million in investments and received invaluable strategic guidance. At Spencer Trask, we tried to discover big ideas in the incipient stages. For me, this began right after I got out of college when I met a man named Orhan Sadek Khan, who was the CEO of a company called Millicom, my first big discovery. It was 1983, and Millicom was creating a joint venture which later became Vodafone, developing a technology few people understood, cellular telephony. Here's a question where you could leverage knowledge, know-how, rather than just pure capital. Kevin has a very fine hand in terms of being recognized as an early expert in various fields. His support then generated a tremendous amount of investment activity that uh, allowed us to grow and create basically a, the capital for Millicom. Mr. Sadi Khan created Vodafone, today the seventh most valuable company in the world, with a market cap of over $250 billion. A bright idea can be a very delicate thing. Our job is to protect these wonderful ideas, just like a light bulb protects the filament. And then we connect it to our network, our network. network and electrify the idea. Kevin Kimberlin and his team have demonstrated time and again their ability to see the next big thing. We first really concentrate on uniqueness. What does this company do that's different? Why is their business idea or technical idea going to be a great one? At Spencer Trask, innovators and investors come together to form a powerful value creation network. There's nothing that provides the kind of reward and excitement to me as finding a company that 
know, has promise, needs help, and you feel that what you can bring to them and the promise that they have, have a match. The right combination of capital, ideas, and passion can lead to stunning breakthroughs in improving the human condition. Myriad Genetics exists because of Spencer Trask's belief that there was only one person to start the first genomics company. Dr. Walter Gilbert had won the Nobel Prize for his fundamental discovery on how to sequence genes. With uh, Dr. Wally Gilbert, who was the fellow who challenged science, challenged mankind with what is now called the Human Genome Project. At Mary Genetics, we have built a system and a way of going about identifying those genes. And the first one that got the company international recognition was a BRCA1, which is the breast cancer gene. The significance of that gene and its uh, ramifications allowed the company to go public uh, about two and a half years after we'd started the company. The right combination of business and science allowed the brilliance of Dr. Gilbert's innovations to become a reality. If I were asked by a company, I would be happy to recommend Spencer Trask to them to do a private equity finance. Investing in young companies that are really at the cutting edge of the human race and trying to improve the human condition uh, and, and having a profound involvement of what's really shaping the future uh, is, is a big part of what Spencer Trask is all about. Next Level Communication share prices more than tripled. Next Level Communications was a division of General Instrument. The key players in General Instrument were John Malone and Forceman Little. And what they were really looking for is to maximize their investment and their return in capital in General Instrument. What Next Level offers that nobody else offers today, and we don't see anybody else offering in the next few years, is the ability to allow service providers that own Copper Twisted Pair to offer voice, video, and data services over their existing last mile of plant. We're a big system that takes information from the head end, from the internet, from the, from the voice network, and we put it all together and deliver it into the home. Ted Forsman called us in to see if we couldn't help with some of the situations that had been brewing there at Next Level, and they wanted a very, very fast uh, response. The solution that Spencer Trask came up with was to set up a partnership between General Instrument and Spencer Trask investors. The Next Level investment was one of the greatest investments in venture capital history. They put $10 million into the firm, and at the peak valuation of Next Level, that investment was worth $3 billion. I'm an entrepreneur, and I've had an opportunity to invest side by side with entrepreneurs at Spencer Trask, explore and sit with the management of the companies they back, and access to those kind of people and their ideas makes me smarter and makes the day a hell of a lot more fun. Legacy of Spencer Trask, first to see the light, has come full circle. From Edison's first glow to the pioneering work of Dr. David Huber in fiber optic technologies. I met Dave Huber uh, on the recommendation of a friend of mine. He had just lost his job. He'd been trying to start a company, but had been turned down by 40 venture capital firms. Uh, he walked into my office and uh, said, uh, something that I'll never forget. He said, uh, uh, I can tell this is the firm I want to do business with. Uh, and I said, why, why is that, Dave? And he said, uh, any firm that financed Thomas Edison is good enough for me. Dave had some incredibly audacious goals to revolutionize the world's telecommunications company with a technology called wave division multiplexing. We understood the role of those technologies in the future of communications. And that's how we became the co-founders of uh, Sienna Corporation as the very first equity investor in the company. Sienna's proprietary technology could fine-tune light waves, increasing the transmission capacity of a single fiber optic circuit by a thousand times 
at a fraction of the cost of installing new lines. Sienna went on to become one of the fastest growing profitable companies in its first two years of business in the history of American business uh, and one of the great venture capital success stories of our time. Quoting the Wall Street Journal, an investment of $100,000 in 1993, Sienna's first year, was valued at about $280 million less than five years later in 1998. We think of our network as a network of stars, very much like a star cluster in outer space. A perfect sphere of hundreds of thousands of suns held together by the gravitational power of each other. I see what we're doing here at Spencer Trads, finding good ideas, but none of them's a complete idea. None of them's positioned or totally poised for success. It needs money, of course, but it needs a lot of help. The entrepreneurs are happy, they achieve a success. The scientists are happy, their technology moves out into the world. And most of all, and hopefully in the long run, our investors are happy as well. In our case, our network of investors, ventures, entrepreneurs, and operational executives are all held together by the gravitational pull of a great idea. At the end of the day, it's about people and bright ideas, the power of human imagination. Spencer Trask offers something truly unique, a community of great people working on great ideas to build great companies. To us, that's what it means to be first to see the light. This material is not intended as an offer or solicitation for